video is long overdue. It's been a long time since I filmed my last How to Be a Disney Princess video. But here it is. How to Be a Disney Princess Step 3. It took me quite a while to think of what this step was going to be when I was first coming up with all of the steps. And I decided the skin tone is quite important. You've got a range of skin tones in the princesses. However, have you noticed that all of the Caucasian princesses are very, very pale? I don't know whether it was planned that princesses should be as pale as they possibly can be, or whether that's just how it worked out. I don't know. But that is the case. And so, if you can be, be pale. Of course, if you're naturally dark skinned, no worries, you're dark skinned. So, that's fine. But basically, what I'm trying to say is don't enhance your colour. Don't go out and get a tan. Unless you are olive skinned or dark skinned. However, if you feel, like I do sometimes, that you are just too pale, then there is something you can do. Because you might be able to tell I'm pretty damn pale, although this lighting is quite yellow, so I look a little bit like more tan than I actually am. But yes, yeah, so there is something that can help, which is something such as this, which th I've got here, Elemis Tan Accelerator, and basically you put it on, I think a few weeks leading up to one apply daily for one to two weeks before a holiday or before sunbathing to enhance the tanning process. So basically it tans you a little bit but it doesn't make you it it allows you to not be like really tanned. Um and it could also be a use of protection. But yeah, so this Elemis is good, and there's also tinted moisturisers and things, just to give you a little bit more of an, a natural glow, but not tanned, because you do not see any princesses like that. Particularly fake tan. Just don't do it. So that's really all I have to say to you for step three. There isn't much else to say. So, enjoy not being tanned. And if you're from England... If you're from England, this will be quite easy for you because there's no sun anyway, so it's fine. In fact, let's just Britain. That's fine because there's no sun, so you don't have to worry about the sun hitting you. But if there is sun at all where you are, then sunscreen. Bye for now.